La Roche Posay, you could have done better with that. You could have come up with something else. It is just so nice and lightweight and just delicate. I mean, I'm not seeing much improvement, but it is only day four. Hi guys, today we will be putting to the test the La Roche Posay Your Vitamin C10 for one entire week and actually see what results you can see on my skin after the seven days are over. Now, reading from the box, this says instantly skin feels softer, more hydrated, and glowing, which is basically because vitamin C's are supposed to brighten up the skin. Wrinkles and fine lines are reduced, skin looks smoother. All right, as if transformed, skin texture and tone appear more uniform form even and refined skin regains its full radiance all right la roche posay these are definitely some big claims you're making i cannot wait to see if this holds up so truly you guys without further ado let's put this bad boy to the test shall we okay guys so before we even apply this i first want to show you what my skin looks like so that we can see if there's going to be any improvement now as you can see i have of course acne what's new off my cheeks and a little bit of redness but i also do have quite a few dark spots and vitamin c is supposed to help with that and brighten them up now i also have the slight beginning of fine lines horizontal lines right here on the forehead as well as crow's feet so maybe it's gonna be a little bit anti-aging too i first want to see the smell and the consistency oh it's quite slimy and sticky as you can see okay Oh my god, it is just so nice and lightweight and just delicate. Kind of like a Disney princess. It reminds me of Aurora, the Sleeping Beauty. Don't know why, don't ask me why, it just reminds me of our- Just see, can you never not be gay for five seconds? I'm just like, can you not be gay for five minutes? It's tingling a little. To be honest, it's quite expected with vitamin C's. Usually they do have a very tingling sensation. You guys, not gonna lie though, but this dropper is a little bit messy. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but the, the product is actually oozing out. And that is because it is sticky and fluidy. So when I put it back in, it's gonna draw the product out. So I actually have to get around it and put it like this to not waste any. La Roche Posay, you could have done better with that. You could have come up with something else. Can you come up with something else? Can you come up with something else? I know you could have come up with a pump maybe or something but you guys honestly first impressions i mean it's good is it the best in terms of consistency and serums that i've tried of vitamin c's not necessarily i'm gonna have to see if it backs up with results okay guys so it's day two but before i continue any further with this experiment i first want to read the ingredient list with you guys so to see if there's gonna be maybe any ingredients in this that could be harmful for our skin let's find out together so the first ingredient after water is ascorbic acid so essentially Literally, literally vitamin C that's the name of it and being second after water means that this is going to be very powerful and very concentrated so Laura Spazé she ain't scamming us because she could have put it down in the ingredient list and claimed it with a vitamin C like some of her brands do but she didn't she cute then there's also cyclohexylane now this is based on lubrificant therefore it's gonna make the product spread a lot better so maybe this is why it's a little bit silicone and slimy then there's also glycerin which is hydrating and moisturizing to the skin it's a humectant denatured alcohol la roche posay guys let me tell you why i'm reacting like this is because in the long run a denatured alcohol actually could be causing fine lines and wrinkles and nature skin a lot faster and we don't want that what was the what was the reason behind this no, i need to know please tell me what was the reason, reason. what was the I reason just explain. i just explained the reason what was the reason mm -hmm. However, in the short term, denatured alcohol is quite good to making active ingredients such as ascorbic acid penetrate a lot better into your skin. So, I mean, in a way, I do get you, Laura Spice, but at the same time, I don't get you, sis. You could have done without it. I see dimethicone and a bunch of other ingredients that could be moisturizing to the skin. I see sodium hyaluronate. This is basically hyaluronic acid. Therefore, a humectant. We love hyaluronic acid. We stand hyaluronic acid on this very channel, okay? So much so that we actually inject it in our face in the forms of fillers. Then I also see hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid. So two forms of hyaluronic acid. Reading on another bunch of ingredients. And then I see salicylic acid. Oh my God. Oh my God. La Roche Posay, so not only did you put hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, but also salicylic acid, that is amazing for acne prone on your skin, especially because it really penetrates into the deepest layers of your skin and actually cleans it from the inside out. Therefore, this is also going to help you get rid of, for example, blackheads, whiteheads, acne, prevent future breakouts. La Roche Posay, you might have did something here. However, lastly but not leastly, 
there is, of course, fragrance. La Roche-Posay, we know her. She loves to put her fragrance in her products. However, I don't like it, especially in serums, because they have to stay in your skin for a long, periodically time. It can be very sensitizing and irritating, especially for people with sensitive skin. So, I mean, you decided to go in with denatured alcohol and with fragrance. You let me down a little bit. Another constructive criticism that I don't like, this pump is quite hard to suction. She is not sucking very well okay she does not possess the vernacular to suck if she were a vacuum i would return her if she were a girl with daddy issues she would not have a lot of success you don't ever disrespect why would i disrespect you don't girl? ever disrespect a girl like that again uh, you guys honestly as of now after reading this the only thing that could save this is the results Lars say you better come through you better come through sis okay guys so it's day four now to be honest i feel like i'm already seeing the slightest improvement in my dark spots especially on this side right here these are fading out. One thing that I don't like anymore is the smell. I used to like this because it was orangey fruity, but now it's overpowering. Like truly, this smell just stays on my skin for literally hours, the whole entire day, sometimes even. As far as reduction of wrinkles goes, I mean, I'm not seeing much improvement, but it is only day four. And now, usually vitamin C's are not supposed to break you out. However, I've had some vitamin C's in the past that did break me out. So I'm really curious to see what this is gonna do for my skin. Right now, I don't seem to have any blackheads, any new spots, so it's going well, but we don't know yet. So it's day six. Now, this has definitely been an experience. That's what I'm gonna say. I definitely have a few thoughts that I wanna share with you guys and ultimately tell you if you should buy this or not. La Roche Posay, La Roche Posay, you are on the edge of a cliff here. You guys, Let's get into it. Excuse me, ma'am, are, are you aware of how fast you were going? No, 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 I don't want to hear it. I just need to see your license and registration, please. Yeah, uh-huh. I am the moderator of skincare here, and you were in a fast lane, yes, but you were still going too fast for them other cars. No, 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 we do not want to cause a skincare jam, a skincare incident, accident. No, ma'am, not today. What? Excuse me, don't show me your boobs. Those don't count as licenses registration booklets. I am gay. How dare you even? That doesn't work with me. <laughs> I ain't got time for all that faggot shit. Yes, I do. La Roche Posay, let's get down to business now. I'm gonna talk to you as why I actually am liking this and why I'm gonna have to sue. I have to sue you. First of all, should we talk of the audacity that is the ingredient list of this and the formula of this, okay? Because no 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 no. I actually like this. I know that in the vlog it was a little bit, but actually pondering on it, I, it is quite nice. One thing I want to point out: this is ascorbic acid, okay? It is a not no ester bond. It is not no derivative of vitamin C. Ascorbic acid is the purest form of vitamin C you could find. Therefore, it's also going to be the strongest and hence the one that's going to give you the most results and the most benefit for your skin. Well, this has that. So truly, La Roche-Posay did not come to play with the girls, okay? She is not in kindergarten. She has graduated to high school. She is... No, actually, she's getting a job because she is playing with the adults here, okay? She is not no gentle vitamin C for them kids. It's like having a job working 24-7 for two days on the trot. Also, the consistency and the formula itself, I actually quite like it a lot because if you know me, you know that I am a whore for jelly consistencies. I don't like water consistencies because they just run down my face. I truly like a more jelly thing. I feel like it's just a lot better to apply. Now, I still stand of one of the problems that we saw in the vlogs, but I'm going to touch on the negatives later on. Now, it's just the positives. Another thing that I really liked and I was actually excused me, I am shocked. What is this? Is that this does not sting as much as the vitamin C should. So when La Roche-Posay was saying that this vitamin C is meant for sensitive skin, oh, she meant it, all right? Because this truly will not irritate your skin. And we all know if you have tried vitamin C in the past, I'm sure the higher the percentage, the more it is gonna burn and more it's gonna sting. And usually 10% vitamin C's, which mind you, is quite strong. There are stronger ones out there, like 22% in that range, but truly that is just very 
very strong and honestly, arguably, your skin might not even need such strong vitamin C's. So 10% is right in that spot in the middle that truly will give you the best results. And with minimal sensitivity, minimal irritation and stinging. Now, if we do want to move on to the results that I have seen. La Roche-Posay makes a lot of claims. Let's run through them together. So the first one I want to say is fine lines and wrinkles. Now, I have used vitamin C's in the past. This is not the first one that I have tried. And definitely, when I first started using my first vitamin C, which is actually from The Ordinary, I did start seeing reduction in wrinkles and fine lines. With this one, I only did try it for one week. And unfortunately, that's not going to be enough for me to see an improvement in fine lines and wrinkles. But definitely, I can tell you firsthand that this just works. Like, it is proven that vitamin C's 10% too. They totally reduce the fine lines and wrinkles, so I'm not questioning, I'm not downing it. At this point, I'm treating what La Roche Pussy says as the Bible, so therefore it is true. As far as brightening of the skin goes, usually I like to say that I've already reached the maximum level of glowiness that my skin can reach. I like to believe that. I'm a believer. You're a dreamer. You dream a lot in your skin. No, sleep. not really. I'm not. Yes, you do. No, I Yes, don't. you do. However, my skin was definitely a little bit more dull looking and a little a bit more of dark spots because right now I'm going through summer exams for university therefore I'm definitely a little bit stressed and my skin is definitely not at its best and this truly helped I mean look at the material look at the glow like are you kidding me I am wearing highlighter but at the same time girl don't play with me okay because I will blind you if they were to put me on a hill next to the sea I would be like a lighthouse okay beaming to the boats to signal them that there is land ahead with this glowiness please Okay. So, I mean, it did give me increased glowiness, increased brightness, and increased dark spot reduction. Now that I've said my piece and the positives, I do, however, want to touch on the negatives and the things that I did not like you guys should definitely know before we actually move on to how to incorporate this in your teen and who would benefit the most out of this. So, ladies, focus here because this is important. The first thing I did not like is the pun. La Roche Posay, don't get me wrong, I, I love you to bits and pieces. I truly tried the best I could to like this and enjoy this but it just does not suck well enough <laughs> Huh? Like you should take lessons from schoolgirls with daddy issues because they clearly know how to suck hard, okay? I can definitely tell you're a little bit of a virgin. You didn't have much experience with sucking things up because, I mean, this also, mind you, is sticky and as you can see, it's also the same color and quite the same consistency, to be honest, <laughs> of what we're talking about. So, I mean, you should definitely take lessons from them. <laughs> This analogy has gone too far. I'm so sorry to anyone watching. <laughs> oh my God. But another thing that I did not like, sis, I know you were trying to do something cute here with the fragrance. You were trying to go like orangey because when we think of vitamin C, we think of oranges. We think of like Sicilian summer, like a Sicilian field full of oranges and like Italian men shirtless sweating with the summer sun. Probably also with a shining foot and just wiping it out and then just the, their bodies just looking so shiny and toned and just so juice. Listen, stop. I'm gonna fuck you. We think of that when we think about vitamin C, right? Well, this is just too overpowering. Try to sniff on it, yeah. This will stay on your skin, on you, and you will be able to sniff it all day long until you wash your face. However, now, are these two negatives something so huge that I cannot overlook and overcome? No. Definitely, these are two minor issues. Now, guys, I want to touch on when you should use this, what you can mix this with, and who will benefit the most out of this because this is important. So, first of all, vitamin C's, you can use them both morning and night in your routine. If you are using retinol, however, I would say, even though you can mix them, mind you, I would say don't because retinol on its own, it's a very strong ingredient. So I would say if you are using retinol at night, just stick with retinol and use that. This is why I recommend you actually use this in the morning. And also because this is actually an antioxidant. If you guys didn't know, antioxidants offer us protection from free radicals and pollution in the air, which basically free radicals are actually kind of like eating away the electrons in the atoms of our skin and therefore breaking down our collagen. So truly by applying a vitamin C, 
in the morning when you're going outside, if we're exposed to the sun, to the pollution, to the air, to all these free radicals, you would get that added bonus of protection. Not to mention that vitamin C paired with sunscreen is amazing because it actually boosts the efficacy of your sunscreen, therefore it will give you a lot more protection. However, again, no one is stopping you from using it at night. If you are not using retinols, then go ahead. You can definitely use antioxidants like vitamin C in your nighttime skincare routine. Now, who will benefit the most out of this? Now, if you watch my channel, you know there is a very accurate analogy that I like to mention whenever a product is paired amazing with everything. Shall we say it together? Oh, Lord. Again, this is going to be a prostitute product, okay? Meaning, she will go with literally everybody. As soon as you purchase this, she will be yours and she will deliver you the results that it claims. So again, this is great for sensitive skin and also for normal skin types, for oily skin types. Truly, this is just a very nice, strong vitamin C. And now, touching on what you can mix this with, as I already said, you can mix it with retinol, but I don't recommend it. Another thing that you shouldn't mix this with is to age and BHAs just because again they're very strong and they are quite irritating themselves for your skin and therefore pairing it with vitamin C could be an overkill for your skin and you definitely don't want that. On top of that something that is a little bit controversial like for example The Ordinary says not to mix their vitamin C's with their niacinamides and also there was a really old study using unstabilized versions of vitamin C and of niacinamide that showed that you shouldn't mix them together because it would create a very toxic and bad for your skin Reaction. However, with more recent studies, we have actually learned that you can mix vitamin C's and niacinamide because these are actually stable versions. So truly, it wouldn't be much of an issue. Actually, I personally like to use this combo and this mixture of vitamin C and niacinamide. It gives me amazing results because niacinamide also is meant to reduce dark spots and pigmentations like vitamin C, so it will really boost each other up, in my opinion. Another thing that you can and you should definitely mix this with, if you want, is maybe other antioxidants, like for example, vitamin E. Because, you guys, if you didn't know, vitamin E is amazing on its own, yes. But when paired with vitamin C, it will actually create a synergetic bond and therefore boost the efficacy and the strength of your vitamin C two times as much. Also, any other antioxidants, as a matter of fact. So, for example, resveratrol, ferulic acid. So, truly, mixing vitamin C's with other antioxidants is just a little secret that only like skincare addicts truly know. But anyways, now the question truly comes that y'all probably have been wondering is, is, Mateo, would you use this in your skincare routine after this experiment is over? Yes, I feel like I will. Now, will I use this as my go-to only vitamin C that I will be using? No, because if I have to be completely on on, there are better vitamin C's out there that I personally have tried that don't contain fragrance in it, and also the pump is a little bit better. However, when putting this in perspective to other vitamin C's out there in the market, this definitely stands its own and is very good so I do recommend it and I will keep using it in my skincare routine but so anyways if you are new here and you enjoyed this video and you watched this so far first of all thank you so much for watching Mwah! and also might I interest you since you're already here to maybe subscribe and turn the bell icon so you don't miss any of my uploads because listen let me tell you okay we review products all the time we react to celebrity skincare routines we keep it fun and fresh if you are struggling with acne wrinkles fine lines and if you want to get your skincare routine down to a tea this is the channel the fact family perfect so you so literally join the Rabbit family we would love to have you here Mwah! and also if you maybe want to see a little bit more behind the scene of what is going on in my life and also see more that you will not see here on YouTube then follow me on my Instagram right here because I also keep the same energy if you have any issues with your skin by the way and you maybe need a little bit of help do not hesitate to DM me I will love to help you out but anyways to our randoms who are still watching you know what time of the video it is now it's time for the Italian word of the video and since this video was about this vitamin C10 from La Roche Pussy and they actually made an analogy of Sicilian men sweating, just farming with their shiny toned bodies and pecs and abs and biceps. Then the Italian word of the video, which I'm actually getting a little bit heated now, is going to be Sicilia, which is Sicily in Italian. And by the way, yes, if you do find yourself in Italy, make sure that you do go to Sicily because it is an amazing country with amazing men as well. But anyways, excuse me, what do you think you're doing? You are not gonna care about this video because even though this video is ending, yes, what you should do is watch one of at least two right here and it's gonna be just as informative as entertaining and whatever this was for you do not watch them YouTube recommendations because he does not know what you need what you need is these but while doing that remember to be random and always be random 
Oh, and by the way, if you click one of them two, I swear, I promise you, the good D is gonna come your way. By D, I mean D-R-C-K. We got it together, sis. Click. Uh, the odds are in favor.